But you did have the opportunity to get a new breathing in your career. We saw you in AEW refereeing yeah. a few matches, Cody Rhodes's match, but uh, the, the Orange Cassidy and Chris Jericho won. How was your experience working in a completely different environment for new people after 35 years? Right. It was it was definitely it felt weird. It did. It did, did feel different. But it was guys that like when I ran into Jake the Snake and this one and And of course, Chris and Cody, which I know for years, and them guys, it was an awesome feeling. Jake Hager, you know, um, all the guys that I've known, and Dean Malenko, Arn Anderson were down there, and I'm like, it was almost like a, like a reunited old school, <laughs> and all the phenomenal young talent they had. That was a real uplifting experience because they have some really good up, uplifting new talent that. I loved working with and it was just it's phenomenal and I, th I think they got a great thing going on their setup in a production is phenomenal they have Tim Wahlberg on on a production in a TV truck and he just does a great job he's been with wrestling for many years and there's another gentleman in a production truck they got Taz JR it was great to see those guys and so forth and um I got a text message from Cody a couple weeks ago so uh We'll see how things work out, man. I hope it works out. I know Big Show just got signed, so I'm thinking, oh, there goes any money in my contract if I had one coming to me. Shit. <laughs> damn show. But, but congratulations to Big Show for signing a contract with AEW. Let's hope to see you there uh, really soon. I, I want to say something in Spanish before we go to our last question. Sure. Mike, Mikey Oda tiene varios productos disponibles. Primero, prowrestlingtees.com slash Mikey Oda. Prowrestlingtees.com slash Mikey Oda para toda la mercancía de referee y de diferentes tipos de mercancía que tiene allí. Muy buenas camisas. Prowrestlingtees.com slash Mikey Oda. De igual manera, pueden seguirlo en sus redes sociales. Twitter, como lo pueden seguir, es at MJCKiora at MJC Kioda, Instagram at Michael Kioda, at Michael Kioda en Instagram. Y de igual manera lo pueden ver todos los lunes, todos los lunes, ¿en dónde? En The Ad Free Shows. ¿Por dónde? Ad Free Shows. Monday Mailback con Mike Kioda, le llega toda la correspondencia, todas las preguntas y responde y hace todas las historias que a ustedes les gustan. Monday Mailback de Ad Free Shows, disponible en adfreeshows.com at freeshows.com para todos ustedes y no solamente pueden ver a Mikey Ora allí ahí pueden ver Something to Wrestle con Bruce Pritchard, What Happened When con Tony Schiavone, pueden echarle un ojo de Arn Show con Ann Anderson, de igual manera de Kurt Angle Show, de igual manera lo pueden ver ahí con Kurt Angle eh, 83 Weeks con Eric Bischoff, Greenland JR con Jim Ross pero todos los lunes tienen la oportunidad de ver Monday Mailbag en Ad Free Shows a través de adfreeshows.com una suscripción sumamente económica desde solo 9 dólares al mes, desde solo 9 dólares al mes eh, es un, un sistema sumamente sencillo, pueden ver todos los programas incluyendo Monday Mailbag en adfreeshows.com como lo dijimos al principio del programa Mr. Kiora, uh, Before we go, gracias for plugging me in there, Michael. <laughs> thank you for being here. Thank you for your gracias. time and, and for sharing your stories and your wisdom with us. Sure. Last but not least, what's the principal difference between and the importance of the referee role compared to when you started doing this 35 years ago to what it is right now? Because I've heard uh, Ref Aubrey Edwards uh, talking particularly about WWE refs as uh, faceless individuals because they didn't got to be an opportunity, get grant the opportunity to be a part of the match. Where, where we saw, for example, in Puerto Rico, we had Pelayo Vasquez, which is a referee that has the personality, that has the opportunity to wrestle sometimes, or Aubrey in, in AEW that got to the face of multiple people. So right. what do you think is the difference between, and the importance of the referee role back then to what it is right now? Um, it is it has definitely changed. Definitely changed one. Uh, and, you know, but I, gotta, I do got to say they took that referee role, certain agents took that referee role huge, like... Um, You couldn't go into business for yourself back then. So you weren't getting up in the, in the wrestler's face too much, intimidating. The heels you would, you know, or certain things like that. Um, I mean, Chief J. Strombo, Jack Lanza, and Rene Goulet, and Grizzly Smith, and a bunch of old school, like, you know, some agents, you know, that were mm -hmm. around at a time. And 
they took it very seriously. If you came back after a screw job finish, right? And you're coming back down the aisle, shaking hands with people and slapping high fives, you know? Man, Chief used to get so mad at that. He goes, your ass didn't see it. You leave with the heat and you leave with the heel. You don't need to be sitting out there explaining to the, I didn't see it to the baby face and this and that. You leave right away with that heel and you don't slap hands with people. What are you campaigning for a mayor job or a governor's job out here? It's like, <laughs> you campaign it for yourself. And I'm like, no, sir. No, sir. You know, so those are the things that, you know, you've learned over the years and you took good advice from old school, like Gorilla Monsoon and Chief Jay Strombo and Rene Goulet, Jack Lanza and so on. And, you know, so many agents out there. Um, and they helped. They helped a lot. You know, just explaining the situation, why you don't do that, you know, why you don't shouldn't do this, stay out in the ring on a screw job finish, um, even though if you didn't see it, uh, you should come back with the heel. Um, don't do this. Don't. I mean, it's just it's different that nowadays referees have a personality and I see they give it to it in AEW, you know, but I'm not too sure from hearing fan base and him hearing Jimmy Corderas all the time on his podcast just buries the AEW. <laughs> you know? Riffing rant. Oh, he's just ranting every week, you know. <laughs> it's funny, man. I love Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy's a great guy. And, um, you know, but is that why the fan base or wrestling fans and the pro wrestling, wrestling world is not taking their referees that serious? Maybe. You know, maybe they're giving them too much play. I don't know. You know, so... Um, you know, that's something that has to be worked out with the talent during a match. You know, you, you just can't have your back turned for like 10 seconds it's, or even five seconds is so long in the ring, you know, and a referee's back is turned and you're doing all kinds of stuff behind his back. You're losing control. I mean, and what are rules and regulations if you're not following them? You know, it's especially in professional wrestling. And if you could work around and do things behind the referee's back, not to bury them, but to outsmart them and the heels get over or the baby faces get over and you do something to outsmart the referee instead of making them look stupid, it should be a much better match in the result of the matches and the finishes. Awesome. Uh, with Mr. Kyoto, once again, thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you for your time. Always wishing you the best of luck and success in your career and with our free shows every Monday on Monday Mailbag. And let's hope to see you really, really soon in AEW because you are uh, outstanding at what you do. And thank you for your time. Hey, man. God bless the Puerto Rico and the Cologne family in Puerto Rico, man. Amen. All right. You guys take care and be safe during this pandemic. Perfect. Thank you. 35 años laborando para la misma empresa y de momento llegas a un nuevo lugar All Elite Wrestling ¿Cómo te sintió Mikey Oda yendo a Elite Wrestling por primera vez? Súper raro Obvio Habían caras conocidas pero súper, súper, súper raro porque estaba llegando a un lugar completamente nuevo después de haber trabajado toda su vida para la misma empresa con la misma dinámica uh, pero dice que fue como una reunión de los viejos escuelas y dato importante Exclusivo de Lucha Libre Online, aquí me revela, que Cody Rhodes le escribió un texto hace varias semanas. Hay un negocio pendiente y hay que ver qué va a ocurrir. Pero puede ser que veamos allí a, a Kyo. Él dice como que felicitó a, a Big Show, a Paul White, por su nuevo contrato. Y dice como que ¡Ah! firmaron a Big Show, ya todo el dinero que había para mí se perdió. Pero lo felicitó, obviamente, en modo de broma, fue el comentario anterior. Dice que podías entrar en el negocio en aquel momento dado. ¡Eh! Bien extrañamente, él tuvo la dicha, pero antes no se podía. La instrucción era irse cuando se fuera el heel. Antes cambiaban las cosas. La lucha acababa, el árbitro se iba por ahí mismo cuando el heel se iba, ganar o perdiera. Y de eso de salir saludando a la gente, completamente prohibido. Los, los promotores activos le decían, oh, oh, una superestrella nueva, la superestrella, estás ahora postulándote para una elección de alcalde. No, ¿verdad? ¿Qué diablos hace saludando a la gente? ¡Ah! Bendito, pobre Quilloda. Eh, y dice que no puedes darle espalda como árbitro o pierdes el control de la lucha. 
entre las muchas cosas que hablo de, de la profesión del árbitro. Queremos agradecer a Mike y ahora por, por la oportunidad. Eh, pueden escuchar su programa, eh, el Monday Mailback, con Mike y ahora directamente en Ads Free Show. At Free Shows, lo pueden ver ahí directamente. Eh, tiene un lineup increíble. Está ahora Jeff Jarrett. Tienes a. Digo, Jeff Jarrett viene a partir de mayo, mayo 4. Pero tienes a Jarrett, tienes a Kurt Angle, tienes a Bruce Prichard, tienes a Eric Bischoff, tienes a Tony Giovanni. Tienes un sinnúmero de personas que son parte de este lineup. Gerald Brisco, tienes a Mike Kioda entre ellos. Y está excelente. Denle la oportunidad. Son podcasts con lo mejor de lo mejor que hay en el mundo. Y créanme, vale cada segundo de su tiempo. Solamente es una suscripción mensual eh, bastante económica, 9 dólares, por una serie enorme de podcasts. Solamente vayan a ads, eh, a adfreeshows.com, adfreeshows.com, y ahí pueden suscribirse, al igual que pueden ver el Monday Mailback con Mike Hora. Hay una serie de podcasts, créanme, vale la pena. Y en adición, pueden seguir a Ad Free Shows en Twitter y en Instagram como Ad, Ad Free Shows, literalmente. Y a Mike Kiora lo pueden seguir, en, como mencionamos ahorita, en Twitter como Ad MJC Kiora, MJC Kiora. En Instagram como Ad Michael Kiora. Y eh, pueden seguirlo también en Pro Wrestling Tees para adquirir su mercancía, ProWrestlingTees.com slash Mike Kiora. Ha sido un verdadero honor haber tenido a Mike, una leyenda de esto, eh, junto con nosotros. Y gracias a Ad Free Shows, a Derek, a, al equipo completo de Q Communications por la oportunidad. Y simplemente gracias a todos por estar en sintonía de Lucha Libre Online, la marca número uno de Pro Wrestling y Combat Sports en español. <música>